Welcome, welcome back at any help at C-square. In this example, we need to find the volume of this composite space figure. And one way to see this problem is by breaking this composite space figure in a common shape. And you notice what I do here. And if you notice, we have here two rectangular prism. And you can find the volume of each one and, and then add them up. That is one way. Another way is to uh, take a look to the base of this prism, because this is a prism. A horizontal prism is not on a vertical position. And the base of this prism is this face or the one that is back here. So I'm going to copy that face. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to identify the dimension of this shape. And if you notice, this is 6 because it comes from here. This is 8, so it's going to go here. This 7 is going to go here. This 6 is from here. So now we have two more sides that we need to find out. One is this one which is nothing else than the sum of 7 and 6, that will be 13. And one more, which is this side here, which is going to be nothing else than sum of 6 and 8, and that will be 14. So now we know everything we need for finding the area of this composite shape. And we call this a composite shape because we can break it in common shape. And I have here a rectangle, this black rectangle, or blue rectangle, which is nothing else than base times height, length times width. In this case, is nothing else than 13 times 6, which is nothing else than 78 square units. And this is this area. And we have one more. which is this rectangle right here, which is 6 by 8. So I'm going to do just 6 times 8, which is 48. The next thing for finding the area of the base is to add these two numbers, 78 and this 48. And that will be 126 square units. And then we can find the volume by using this formula you see here. The volume is A of the base times the height. The base, like I said, is this 126. And be careful, this height for this horizontal prism is this 12. So I end up with 1,000. 512 cubic units. This is the volume of this composite shape. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.